Hi guys and welcome to my channel Crafting My Way. My name is Doris and today I will be doing an old teapot that I had, a tea kettle, um, and I'm going to do what you call a decompage on it. Um, decompage, decompage, I think I'm saying it correctly though. So I want you to watch that as I do that because this could be something that you might want to try at home. It's very easy, it's very simple just with some napkins and you get an old teapot sometimes you know we get the teapots and they get old we throw them away or put them aside and the same you can do the same thing with a flower vase with your mason jars i will be showing you those things but please don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way every time i do a video youtube will notify you okay thank you we're going to jump right in okay right here guys i have the gold metallic paint I got from Walmart and I also have the Mod Podge I'm going to be using and um, I got some napkins from this company it was my first time ever using them um, it's called Vips and I will put that in my description and it was pretty reasonable I picked out a few that I liked and so this is an old tea kettle that I had I had spray painted it once set it aside left it alone and I decided to do something with it and I'm going to try to do the um, decompage on it and um, with the napkins that I got and it turns out really cute at the end um, I should have put a more paper tape paint tape I'm sorry this time on it but I did not do it but it still turned out uh, rather cute to me and we also can do things with the mason jars which I did do which I will show you guys that as well and I have it in another video where I did the same thing with mason jars and the little plastic spoons that the Dollar Tree have. I did it with those and put it inside of the jar. So it did turn out really cute and I really liked it. And so it's a way that we can kind of keep some of the things that we would, you know, sometimes maybe throw away or whatever. So it did come out really cute for me. And if you want to, which I did not, you know, you can change the knob on it if you wanted to really get fancy with it. But I left the knob the same and just decided to paint it. And I kind of touched it up a little bit with some of the um, white chalk paint as well. And I will have a description below um, regarding the heat gun. I got my heat gun from Amazon. I had it quite a while, um, but I will have that in the description below. And this um, picture that I chose, I really like it. It's kind of antique -y. And um, I did find out a really easy way because when you get ready to put your napkin on, you want to remove that liner that's in the back of it. You don't want that on there. So sometimes if you just touch your with your finger and touch the back of the napkin, it normally will pull apart. I was having a little problem for a minute here, but eventually it did come off. But that's really all you need to do. You can just put a little bit of your Mod Podge on your fingers you know onto the back of the napkin it is separated and you know you won't you know tear your napkin because one thing with napkins is it's very they're very delicate so you want to handle them with care especially when you're doing your projects with them but it was a little fussy here but I eventually did get it one thing with crafting um, it's a good thing because I think it learns us patience you know, because some things you get into some of these projects and it just get to be, um, you know, testing your patience, I'd say. So it kind of helped in that area also. But eventually, like I said, it did 
eventually come apart for me. Normally it just comes right apart, but I got it here. And another little trick, um, a lot of times I know people use scissors or whatever, but what I do, I just line the, um, and I'm going to put, you know, you put your Mod Podge on it, but when you get ready to do with your napkin, if you just get a little thin paintbrush, trim around your design that you want with little dabs of water from your from the use a little paintbrush and you dab it and trim it around with the water and it comes right off and that way you get your direct um, um, I'm just in the camera I'm just having a problem here today but anyway so what I'm doing here is just trimming it around and dabbing it with the water and that way you, you can just tear the picture off and it give you that look that you really want it's not you know being aggravated with trying to trim around the pictures and missing some of your flowers or whatever with the scissors but it turns out cute Okay, so I'm finishing it up, and it's such a nice, um, I really like the way it came out. It's coming out, rather, and it's so simple and easy, and it, I just love the way it makes the pictures look when you do your de decompage, decompage on it. I really like that, and um, I could have did a little better with my handle, but I didn't use my... Um, my painter's tape but at the end I'm pretty satisfied with it and I just go around and as I said I did do a mason jar and some little plastic spoons and it looked really like rustic farmhouse I really love that so um, and please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell <clears throat> so when I do a video you will be notified and this just helped my channel so much and I really thank all of my subscribers and if this is your first time to my channel i hope you're enjoying the video and please don't forget to subscribe comment and like and just let me know if you were going to decompose what would you what do you have at your house would it be a flower vase or mason jars what would you use to do yours with and what do you guys do with, you know, because sometimes after a period of time, you, it was nothing wrong with this tea kettle, but I got a new stove and a new refrigerator a few years back, and I wanted, which is silver and black, and I wanted this silver and black, because this actually was red, so I um, wanted to do, use the silver that would match my stove, so I just had it set aside somewhere, and then I decided I would do something with it, so... I, it came out really cute to me at the end. I really thought it was very cute. And I will have a description in the in my description box where I got these. It's, it's a company called Vips, and I've never heard of them, but I did see a lot of the napkins that I liked. This is the finishing of my teapot. I think it came out so darn cute. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.